Hi, welcome to San Francisco School of Flower Design. My name is Michael Gaffney. Today we're at the flower markets in San Francisco. We are part of the American School of Flower Design. I have schools in 13 cities across the country. Uh, we teach very architectural, mathematical recipes for uh, designing. So today I'm going to give you one of those techniques. It's called basing. Um, I have a book over here that's called Design Star, my original book called Lessons from the New York School of Flower Design. And over here I have my new book called Flower Power. This is really the essential of our course, giving you about 40 different styles of designing. And this one over here is uh, the new one called Flower Power, and it gives you uh, like 24 different fast, easy methods of designing. It's really great. It just came out today, so I'm very excited about it. It's called Flower Power Lessons from the Los Angeles School of Flower Design. It will be available on Amazon uh, shortly. So today we're going to have a lesson, free lesson in class. Uh, I, I hope you could join us. If you want information about the schools, go to flowerschool101.com and join us, uh, uh, see online everything, you can, you can find out all the information about classes, the times, the dates, everything. We're in 13 cities from the East Coast to the West Coast. So come on in, join us. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a nice basing technique. Are you ready? Uh, we're going to work with kale, we're going to work with forsythia, and we're going to work with some coloring materials. The secret to basing is, uh, or why we base, is to give it some height. Uh, it's a nice vertical line, gives it some height. It's for all the brides who can't afford the up-in-the-air towers. So it gives you, it, it fills up some of that airspace in a big ballroom. The first thing I'm going to do is to sink my foam into my container. Remember when designing with foam, you always leave it above the rim of the container for horizontal lines. Very, very important. Flowers grow up and out, so you need to have your horizontal lines. Then I'm going to block it in. I, mean, I call it slices of bread. I'm going to take some slices of foam and I'm just going to block in the sides so that I get the most design surface area I can get out of this container. Also keeps it nice and steady. So I blocked in with my foam like that. I just break it off. And now we're going to start. First thing I'm going to do is drop in a tall vertical line. This is for Scythia. It means we've survived another winter. Uh, it's out here in San Francisco. I don't think it's out in Chicago uh, or, uh, the, or the Midwest markets yet, but it's here in San Francisco. And what is the date today? January. Uh, January 18th, it's early, but I love when I see Forsythia. This is going to open up and turn into all nice uh, yellow blossoms in about two or three days. So we're going to start with a vertical line of Forsythia. There, there's your start. Okay, now I'm going to take my kale. This is beautiful kale I found here on the markets in San Francisco. It runs about uh, $8.50 a bunch. I'm going to take my kale and I'm just going to, nice short stems, not too long, about four inches. It's a little bit hard to get in. Sometimes you've got to hold it by the head. See how I'm holding that? And just shove it right down into that foam. There's one. And we're going to collar, like shirt collar, all around the outside with my kale. There's two. And this will be my uh, base, the base of kale. Three. You want them all the same height. Opening up my second bunch of kale. Uh, here's a little one. That's OK. We'll put a little one right in there. Fill in four. Here's a nice big one. Five, and we got one more, room for one more. Maybe two more little ones. Here's a good one. Kale, one of my favorite things. People are always surprised to see us working with kale. Uh, it is commercially grown. So how easy is this? Anybody can do this. It's a nice base of kale going all around the edges. Don't worry about you have a little space in there. When these yellow blossoms open up, it's going to fill in. Now I'm going to do what I call collaring. I'm going to collar my design. With any type of material, you can, you can single or double collar. I'm going to double collar or maybe even triple collar. Maybe, I, maybe I'm going to go crazy today. I'm using uh, first hypericum berry. And uh, I'm going to put a little hypericum berry between my kale. Yes, you should be cutting these on an angle with a nice sharp knife. We never allow knives in class the first week because people always bleed. So if you come to my schools, you'll be using clippers for at least a week or two. So I'm collaring with some hypericum berry. 
Looks very good. And now I'm going to take a secondary material, uh, white wax, and I'm going to color with a little white wax. Uh, again, basing gives you some nice vertical uh, height. You know those big ballrooms when you're getting married, uh, they're very tall ceilings, so a uh, vertical line just, just occupies some of that height on the tables. I do this with uh, Casablanca lilies, I do it with roses, any type of mass flower. Remember, there's line and mass flowers. So I'm doing this with uh, both a line material and a mass material. Make sure you're first in there nice and solid. And then maybe last, I found this on the market today. This is really cool. It's a, it's a variety of cedar I've never seen. So I'm going to do a third coloring material of cedar. Fast and easy. This whole design has taken me about three minutes to do. Very popular. And I'll also use these for hotel lobbies on their sign-in desk. I would use it for uh, uh, restaurants, hotel work, um, entryway into your house. So if you're interested in more information about my classes, we have them all over the country. When you come to school, I guarantee you will be creating beautiful designs like this in a matter of minutes. Uh, I'm Michael Gaffney. This is your base, uh, basing technique for today. So go to Flower School 101, and I'll see you in class. And don't forget, we've got Design Star and Flower Power available on Amazon.com. See you later.